Hey guys, Cedar Essentials here. For this project, I'll be using some items that I don't really use anymore, like these crates. I'm making a glam pedestal and I'm also going to be using Dollar Tree empty frames. Here are some other items that I'll be using for this project. The first thing I'm going to do is start up with the crates by joining them together. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to be adding the canvases at the top and at the bottom. I got these from Walmart. These are small wooden boxes that I got from Michael's craft store. They're really cheap. I'm going to be adding that to my design. Like I said earlier, I'm using items that I had already had at home. Believe it or not, I buy some supplies to use for a different project and I may not really use all of them. And then I keep the rest at home because I know they're going to be useful, like these boxes. I'll repeat the same thing that I did here at the bottom. The box is at the top. I left it that way because I would like to access what's inside, even if I'm using it as a pedestal. I made a shorter one. Now I had just one crate. So in order for me to make the shorter one higher, I had to add a box at the bottom, a strong box at the bottom. I still need the top to extend out just a little bit. So what I'm going to use now would be empty frames. I have a lot of empty frames lying around because I use the mirrors and these frames are from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to be adding the amount that I need, glue them together and fortify the top and the bottom with wood. I was so happy doing this because finally these frames are going to be put to good use. I do have a smaller pedestal, so I got more empty frames. Now for each pedestal, I'm going to be using eight empty frames.
This is what they look like. Now I took it out and I spray printed them silver. I kept them aside and then I took a foam board and I'm going to be covering this foam board with mirror reflective paper. The link for all the items used in this project are going to be down in the description box below. Now I'm going to be cutting out strips from it. I'll be covering the white sides here with silver metallic paint. These are boards that I got from Hobby Lobby and they're super cheap. I got a lot of them just to use for projects in the future. Now I'll be using one to cover the middle of the pedestal, glue it, and then use tack nails on it. This is just to make sure that the background is going to be totally clear. I want you guys to know that this pedestal, apart from the fact that I'll be able to have access to store things inside the boxes, I also left the back so that things can be stored inside as well. I mean, this is totally optional. I choose to leave the back open, but then you can cover yours all around if you like. I glue the strips over the board. And then I also cover the top and the bottom part of the pedestal. The smaller sides were covered with singular strips of mirror mosaic tiles. And that's it. Now I have a beautiful pedestal that has provision at the back for storing items. But like I said, you can close yours if you like. Now this is how both of them look like together. I just wanted to see what this onlay was going to look like added to my design. I spray printed them silver and then made holes to pass the screws through them and attach them to the pedestals. Now this is not your typical pedestals because it's all glammed up. And using items like picture frames, small crates, canvases and little boxes. I am more excited about the fact that I finally got to use the picture frames that have been lying around doing nothing. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.